David Stearns for Potomac Patriots Hockey here for the Patriots Playback on a winning Tuesday as the boys took four in a row. As they only had one win in nine games to start the season, they took an EJHL South showcase sweep and defeated Florida Eels, Palm Beach Hawks, Tampa Juniors, and finishing out in a shootout against the Space Coast Hurricanes. So things seem to be clicking now. The chemistry's there. Lines have pretty much been shifted. A lot of changes all around, but you know what? The one thing that remains, though, is the attitude and the spirits are high in this locker room. So let's hear what Ch uh, Coach John Mahaffey had to say about this past weekend. David Stearns here for Patriots Hockey, joined with Coach John Mahaffey. So, four win streak in a row. This is really great stuff right now after having only one win in nine games. Finally, uh, well, let's say eight games because one of those was not a league game. Right. But um, it seems like the guys have hit the reset button. So what, 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 is the, uh, what is the attitude after this past weekend? I'd say it's probably pretty high right now. Um, I think after the previous weekend in Hampton Roads, it's probably at an all-time low. Um, you know, we were able to kind of write off the showcase losses as really tough schedule with the EJ teams. Uh, Wilkes-Barre was a very good team. Apple Corps was very good. Portland, they, you know, they were good as well. Atlanta, you know, won nationals. Um, so you could write that off. We expected to get one against Hampton, didn't get it done. Um, and the players had a... Uh, closed door meeting with themselves and and uh they obviously regrouped um then we met with the uh, players as well and uh, we let them know what we expected they let us know what they thought they could do better and the good thing were both sides were on the same side so it rolled from there what was the spark that led to the four wins uh, you talk about you know the team meeting and uh you know you guys meeting with the team uh and then the, the practices leading up to what was it do you think that ultimately led to just the explosion uh because we hadn't seen andrew turgeon on the score sheet for a while he kind of fizzled out and then all of a sudden matt whipper came to life what was it well i think it started in a d zone um you know the guys talked about a lot of just making a bigger commitment to our coverage and our assignments down there and it, it built out from there um the special teams really improved uh the power play got on a little nice little streak the penalty kill was unbelievable um and obviously you know goaltending was the best penalty killer out there but uh yeah i i just think it was just they realized you know we just can't show up and get it done you got to actually work hard for the entire time now, all right, walking through it now, if I have this correct, all right, it was 3-1 to one against Florida, yeah. and then 2-1 to one against uh, Palm Beach, and then Tampa 6-2, and then a shootout win. So, uh, close games, uh, very convincing on the score sheet. Uh, talk about pretty much what generated it from start to finish uh any particular players that really turned it up i mean obviously the score sheet speaks a lot to turgeon and whipper but uh anybody else out there i mean talk a bit, little bit about dustin moyer in between goal and any other players that may not be recognized oh, well dustin i mean was unbelievable um he ran all four games um you know generally if a goaltender has 90 percent saves percentage in a game we'll let him go the next one win or lose um and he did that all four games uh, just outstanding. Uh, Travis Reese was very good. He he really came to life this weekend. His speed just really um, exploited, you know, the other team's defense, especially in the Tampa game. Um, they had a slower defensive unit, and he just was able to blow right by them multiple times. And if he didn't score, he created something. So uh, defensively, I think we worked very good as a unit as a whole. Um, we brought had to bring Sean Gregory back uh, for a couple games and then a little bit in the last game. Um, it was spur of the moment. Uh, Tamor Hannon blocked a shot in the first game against Florida and bruised his foot pretty good. So we just wanted to give him a day off. And uh, Gregory really rose to the occasion for us. And, you know, something like that when you know, I pull a guy back for the last seven minutes uh, in a one goal game against Space Coast, you know, and he gives me great minutes all the way down the stretch, that's invaluable. And that, that's like a true unsung hero. Now talk a little bit about the officiating in these games because you are the special teams coach. Yeah. You know the penalty kill inside and out and how you want to work these guys. Yeah. Um, how was the discipline and uh, how was the officiating? You know, I actually thought our discipline was better. Um, I'm not going to try to get too into the officiating. I don't want to get fined by the EJ South, but uh, to be quite honest, I'll sum up, it was pretty brutal. Um, there were a lot of calls that, you know, yeah, we might have done something to warrant a penalty, mm -hmm. but 
you know, if we shove somebody a little bit and then we get cold cocked in the face three times and we're the only one with the penalty, uh, you know, it doesn't really sit too well with the coaching staff and the players. But the players did a great job. They hung in there. The penalty kill unit really responded time in and time out, and it was it was unbelievable. And I, I think we got a lot of momentum all weekend from the penalty kill. How about the power play? How was it looking out there for them? You know, RJ uh, – pulled together some random unit um and it, it sparked it it worked um and then we kind of went with them here and there and every time that unit seemed to go out there it worked and i think the other guys maybe they felt a little left out and it motivated them so when they got their shots you know it, it all seemed to click so um they had a lot of good puck movement if they didn't score they were generating chances um they got a lot of zone time and there were a lot of good things to build off of overall is the chemistry there now i'd say so um, you know, they're still missing, you know, some assignments and, you know, you're human that that's going to happen. Um, they understand the general gist of what we're trying to do. Now it's just, you got to get the commitment for the full entire game. You can't take one shift off. They're starting to realize, you know, you take two minutes off and you get burned. And just like the last game in space coast, you're up three to one with about five minutes left. And, you know, I was telling the guys, you know, my end of the bench, keep your foot on the gas and, because there's a lot of time left, and they didn't quite do that, and we got burned, and we had to eke one out in the shootout. Um, but in the end, it's the final result that matters, and we got the two points. But you would have liked to just close that one out without them going extra time. Weekend off between games, going into Atlanta the following weekend. Uh, do you think this time off is going to help or hurt the team, considering pretty much momentum is in your favor? I don't think it can hurt. Um, I mean, I guess it could. Uh, I would say it's going to help. Um, you got some guys that are banged up. Um, just they need some maintenance time. That's all. Um, nothing is serious. There's no concussions or anything like that. It could be lengthy, but it will let guys mend up. It will give us an extra, you know, couple days to implement some things, tweak some things if we have to uh, this week, and then next week we can prepare for Atlanta down the road. All right. Well, enjoy the weekend off. Absolutely. Thank you. All right. That's Coach John Mahaffey for the Potomac Patriots. So there you have Coach Mahaffey's thoughts. So let's hear from the winning goaltender who notched four wins underneath his belt and some pretty solid numbers in a save percentage and goals against column. Let's talk to Dustin Moyer. David Stearns here with Dustin Moyer, goaltender for the Potomac Patriots, winner of four straight this past weekend. Uh, Dustin, how does it feel taking home four wins after a slow start to the season? It feels really good. I mean, started off slow. As everyone, everyone was getting frustrated, but as we started winning more, came together and everyone was more like energetic and more together as a team. So uh, 937 save percentage and a 1.65 goals against. Uh, how did you channel that uh, that energy and focus into your game? Um, just preparation was different and kept to myself, listened to my music, changed the music I listened to, just a lot of stuff, that little stuff that I guess helped me. Okay, I know that Yutzler listens to Slipknot. What do you listen to? Um, 80s music. 80s music. That is intriguing. What uh, What are your favorite bands? Um, ACDC and Guns N' Roses. I like it. Okay, so hair bands. Okay, this is really good. So uh, you, you guys have uh, a week off going into Atlanta, and um, you know it, it's pretty much a system I'm noticing here is when you got a hot goaltender, you go with them. Uh, a good system rotation. Uh, you're obviously, it's logical that you may get the next start. Uh, how are you going to prepare over the next week? I mean, it's going to be a long time before you see some uh, some game action again. I um, really just got to rest up. I'm a little tired, so I need to rest up my legs and get ready and prepare starting next week, really. Anything particularly uh, memorable from this past weekend uh, you want to tell everyone about? Sleeping in a little corner in the window. <laughs> that was pretty fun, I guess. But uh, mostly how actually the team blocked a lot of shots in front of me. That was surprising to me, actually. Now, I do want to ask one more question, though, building on that. Did you notice uh, more chemistry out there on the ice amongst your teammates? I mean, you're standing there in between the goal. You're directing traffic. But amongst the defense and the offense, did you notice any, anything different from previous weeks? Uh, yes, we clicked a lot better. Passes were better, and everything just all around was better. Okay. Well, uh, enjoy your week off, and uh, good luck in the following weekend against Atlanta. Thank you. This is Dustin Moyer, goaltender for the Potomac Patriots. So those are some interesting things from Dustin Moyer on uh, a solid showcase weekend showing from him. Now let's talk to two other players that gave us a solid showing this past weekend for the Potomac Patriots. And those two players are Matt Whipper and the captain, Andrew Turgeon. All right, David Stearns here with Matt Whipper. 
Whip, you had a breakout weekend, one goal, three assists, and uh, talk to us about the success that, uh, you know, it, that success and what led to it. Was um, it the line combination or was it just something else that sparked? I, I think, honestly, we just worked harder this weekend. Um, you know, people that weren't hitting were hitting. And people that, you know, weren't skating as fast as they should be were skating, like, at their full potential. And I think everybody played up to their potential. And, you know, we grinded out those games. You know, we didn't kill anybody. We came in, we won 2-1, to 3-1, to one, and I think, like, 4-3 was the other one. And then the other one was sort of a blowout. But, you know, we grinded it out and stuck until the end and kept our focus throughout, like, pretty much the whole game. So I think that's, you know, what kicked in there. You and I talked uh, previously about this line combination that you had working with you this past week in practice. Um, how big of an impact was it being on the same line as uh, Turgeon and Marks? It was definitely good. I mean, we were definitely in the offensive zone. Um, you know, we got some good shots, and, you know, Turgeon scored. And I think, you know, Mark had some, Marks had some good assists there. But, uh, you know, offensive, offensively, I think we were really good, and then especially in the defensive zone. I mean, we're all pretty fast, so we were able to get back. Um, and, you know, get back there and help out as much as you could. I'm going to ask every player I talk to today the same question. You guys have a weekend off coming up here, and then the following weekend you see Atlanta again, who gave you guys a bit of a run for your money and uh, some tight contests then. But um, what, what, what are you guys going to do to keep the momentum going into the next weekend, even with the weekend off? Um, you know, I, I, I think, you know, this week, you know, we just won four games and played four games in a weekend. I think this week, you know, today we have picture day. And, uh, you know, tomorrow we might do some fun games and stuff, but I really think we got to keep focused throughout the week and st still understand that, you know, we have three practices next week before a big game. And, uh, you, know, it's, you know, stay focused on, on hockey versus, you know, it's easy to get loose focus during an off week and it's easy to, like, you know, go do other things and whatever. I mean, go do that, but come next week, come back prepared and ready to, you know, work hard at practice. All right, congrats on a solid weekend and enjoy the break. All right, thank you very much. All right, Matt Whipper for the Potomac Patriots. David Stearns here with Captain Andrew Turgeon. Turge, you had a uh, hell of a weekend, to say the least. Uh, three goals, three assists, is that right? Sounds right, yeah. Sounds about right. Um, you know, the bigger picture was that winning the four games. Uh, like, eight points coming out of that weekend was huge, and uh, it's good that I can get back on the scoreboard and help the team win. And, I mean, a bunch of guys stepped up this weekend, but it was a good weekend. Did the line combination have anything to do with it? I mean, we've been talking that chemistry's been kind of lacking on this team, but all of a sudden, four games, four wins in a row. Uh, we talk a little bit about your line and the other lines that may be uh, attributed to the four wins in a row. Right. Um, well, my line, we, I played with Marks and Whipper all weekend, and uh, I set Whipper up or Whipper up a couple times. He didn't really bury any, but it's coming. He'll still start scoring, and and Marks. Mark started bearing the puck again. Mark's had a couple goals this weekend. The chemistry is really working there. I feel like we were scoring a lot. We had a couple goals 5-on-5, five five, and uh, that's big, too, because we weren't really getting much offensive pressure 5-on-5. Five five. So that worked out good. And uh, the other lines, yeah, like Reese, Mikey. Mikey was hurt a little bit this weekend, but um, Piccarelli just came in and, like, stepped up huge on that line. Makes a lot of space for Reese and Mikey. And then, like, t the third and fourth line guys just did en had some energy all weekend. Like, Sterling had a big first goal against... Um, Palm Beach, I think, or Space Coast. Space, Space Coast, right. Okay. Mm -hmm. So it was big. Talk about goaltending there. Uh, you know, we rocked out Dustin Moyer all weekend. I uh, talked to him a little bit earlier. Um, what, what is the attitude in the locker room right now? You guys have three viable goaltenders that can play, but uh, Dustin Moyer has been turning it up lately, eh? Yeah, I, I, I knew it was going to be coming there soon. I mean, that, coming out of last year, he played amazing down the playoff stretch, and I knew he had it in him. Uh, I was just waiting for it to kind of get together. He had a little rough off season. I think he got hurt a couple times, and um, but I knew he always had it in him. He's a great goalie. He stands on his head. He stood on his head all weekend, so he did good for us. Do we have a goaltending controversy on our way? I, I mean, between him and Yatsler, I mean, that's what I, I don't I don't know. But between those two, you know, I mean, that's a I think that's a good thing to have if you have goaltenders fighting for competition and wanting to every game not let let up uh, enough goals to make RJ want to pull in the next one. You guys have a weekend off. I'm asking every player this that I'm talking to today. Uh, how? What is it going to take to keep the motivation and the, um, I guess the uh, momentum going forward against Atlanta with a weekend off? Right. Um, well, we have, like you said, a week off here. I think uh, tonight we're just a nice night here, just all getting together, having some fun, taking some pictures, and uh, this week. Guys are going to all go have their fun this weekend, have a little break, get away from the game. and uh, But then next week when we come back, practice has got to be right back up to the high level, and uh, we'll be good to go come next week. We'll all be back in the mindset of hockey, and it'll be good. 
Well, enjoy the break, and uh, we'll see you next week. All right, thank you. All right, Captain Andrew Turgeon for the Pota uh, Potomac Patriots hockey. <laughs> so one player getting, well, certainly a lot of attention there at the showcase this past weekend was Travis Reese, known for his speed and uh, his, well, I guess his on-ice sight. He's got that hockey sense that uh, a lot of teams are paying attention to up there in the NCAA realms. Let's hear what Travis Reese had to say. David Stearns here with Travis Reese for the Potomac Patriots. Uh, two goals, one assist on the weekend. Did I have that right? Yeah. Good. All right, excellent. Uh, it's, it's hard to keep track of this. You guys had a breakout weekend uh, as a team. I uh, wanted to talk a little bit about the, uh, the fact that it was a showcase. 30 NCAA teams were out there looking, and apparently your name came up quite a bit. Yeah, it was definitely a great experience to be in, like coming after the game and having the scouts talk to me. It was definitely it was good to hear just to let, just to be told that I played good and like stuff like that and that impressed people. So I was definitely happy about it. Now, talk about a little bit about your team chemistry that seems to have just kind of gelled well this past weekend. You guys had only one win in what, nine games leading into the showcase, and all of a sudden you guys walk away with a four-game win sweep out of the weekend. Uh, what happened? I mean, what came together? Um, we just basically just got tired of losing. Like, We all just came together as a team, and we all just started working a lot harder on the ice and just battling for each other and just making sure that we came out with a win. So we just did what we had to do to win. So... I meant to catch up with you after uh, the Hampton Roads game. Uh, I believe it was the uh, the Saturday game. What was the inspiration between those two goals? Uh, just <laughs> the one, Turgeon made a nice pass to me across the ice, so I just had to put it in the net. And then the one where I went in, and I just came around the net. I saw open ice, so I just took it. <laughs> it was definitely exciting. I appreciate it, by the way. And I think everyone else that was in attendance did. <laughs> so. Yeah, thank you. All right, so uh, you guys have a weekend off. I'm asking every player this. Uh, what is it going to take for you guys to hold on to this momentum and motivation to go in against Atlanta the following weekend and take two wins from them? Uh, we just got to believe that we can win. We just got to come in there with the right, right mindset that we can win this game and then just come out with the two points each game. So we just got to work hard. All right, well, enjoy the weekend off, and uh, good luck next week. All right, thank you. All right, Travis Reese for the Potomac Patriots. So with the weekend off ahead, the Patriots have plenty of time to relax, but it doesn't sound like they're going to relax very much here as they're going to keep going forward with practice and keeping the mindset of what they just went through this past weekend to gain four straight wins and how they're going to keep this streak alive coming on the following weekend against the Atlanta Knights. Of course, the Atlanta Knights took two wins away from the Patriots here in their home barn at the Prince William Ice Center. Now they're going to look to take those two wins back on the road in Atlanta. So can they do it? Well, we'll find out next week when we talk with the guys after a couple of rounds of practice and see where their heads are at going down to Atlanta. So this is David Stearns for Potomac Patriots Hockey saying don't stop believing.